Have you ever watched a show or a movie and there was a single character that made the entire watching experience incredibly memorable? That's exactly how I feel with the new Fallout series on Prime Video. I can't even begin to explain how amazing this show is, from its world building to its dialogue and then its characters. I'm absolutely in love with the show. I'm not going to lie either, the show has made me go back and play the Fallout games and as someone who's never been super into the games, I'm genuinely impressed that this show has now made me put countless hours into Fallout 4. Also, I've got to say hats off to Bethesda. They timed a Fallout series sale perfectly with the release of the show. Fallout 4 only costed me £4 to play and now I'm super into the game. Also, before I forget... Okay, so anti-heroes, arguably the most interesting characters in media. There's a reason people love the likes of Deadpool or Venom, because although these characters aren't always morally good, more people can connect with them. Sometimes heroes are difficult to connect with if they're always good, because the truth is, humans aren't always morally good. It's more of a grey area, and if someone were to get the powers of Deadpool or Venom, they would act probably just like them, and not act entirely good like Spider-Man or Captain America. Some of the best stories are when characters aren't always morally good. It's seeing characters like Spider-Man making selfish decisions sometimes that makes some really interesting storytelling. In a show like Fallout, where the end of the world has come and the surface of the earth has become radioactive, humans aren't going to be good. Even the likes of our main protagonist, Lucy, slowly learns to fight back through the series because that's what the wasteland does to you. Several other characters even tell her that to survive she'll have to do things that she's not proud of, but we're not here to talk about the main protagonist. Instead we're going to be talking about Cooper Howard, aka the ghoul. In the beginning of this show, I truly thought that the ghoul was nothing more than the main villain of the series, because he's killing people left, right and centre when introduced. But as the show unfolds, we see this character become more likeable, more sympathetic, and you begin to slowly realise this guy isn't a killing machine without a purpose. Instead, he's just like everybody else who's trying to survive, be it in a more violent way. That doesn't make him good either. I mean, he does incredibly cruel things to our main protagonist, but somehow the ghoul remains incredibly likeable. This is because he's actually given backstory and depth. He's written in such a brilliant way, in fact, that every time he's on screen, he completely steals the spotlight because in a world where there is power armor and mutant creatures, this one guy is going around with just a rifle and a revolver and he's destroying everyone he comes across. So now he's just a badass and well-written. Let me go into incredible detail one second as well and talk about musical motifs. I know I'm probably going to sound super nerdy here, but hear me out for a second. When you're watching a show or movie, have you ever noticed when a character appears on screen, they get a little passage of musical notes? For example, you can hear it when Miles Morales appears on screen with Into the Spider-Verse. Or it can be as simple as the opening to Star Wars. The point of a musical motif is that when you hear that passage of notes, you know exactly what it's relating to before it's even shown on screen. Well, the ghoul in Fallout has his very own musical motif and it made his presence on screen all that more engaging because I was already interested in this character, but then giving him a musical motif, well, I'm gonna know every time he's about to be on screen and that amplifies his presence in the show. They could have been incredibly lazy with this show and just played into Easter eggs, but they went out of their way to not only make an interesting character, but even give him a small musical motif so that he's memorable. It's not even just the ghoul liver, the Brotherhood have their own musical motif, just like Lucy has hers. It just makes all the elements of the show more memorable, because every time you hear those musical motifs, you know exactly what it's relating to. I figured out pretty early on in the show as well that the ghoul was actually the character of Cooper Howard. I like that they kept leaving bigger clues each episode though, with the ghoul and Cooper being the same character, because then by the end it's such a big payoff when it's finally revealed. And it doesn't seem like it's out of nowhere because the show purposely takes its time to show you Cooper Howard's backstory. Also, just the interaction between him and Hank being reunited after 200 years was incredible, all while the mystery of the story is still being unraveled to us. Also, I wanted to take a moment to talk about the intro to the show because it might be one of the best intros I've seen in a very long time. Within just a few minutes of the intro, they already set up the tone of the show as well as the incredible visuals of the nukes dropping. I mentioned Easter eggs before and just having Cooper Howard be the thumbs up icon we've come to recognize so well is such a fun little easter egg. You find out the true motive of the ghoul by the last episode as well with him just wanting to find his family and again it goes back to what I said earlier with his character not just being a dense killing machine but actually having a motive thus making us sympathize with the character all that more because he's just looking for his family. Having both him and Lucy put their differences aside by the end as well and team up to fight against the people who dropped the bombs in the first place is so rewarding. We see these two characters go from hating each other to becoming unlikely allies by the end because they actually have more 
in common than they initially think. I also want to touch on the relationship between Coop Howard and his partner Barb Howard. The show spends its time making this relationship look happy and strong, only to do a 180 by the last episode with Barb being the one suggesting dropping the nukes just to make vault Tech successful. And that plot twist is incredible. She seemed like such a trustworthy character the entire way through the series and then having her be possibly the main cause for the end of the world is some incredible storytelling. And it sets up the story for season 2. Please, for the love of everything that is Prime Video by the way, make a season 2. I beg. There are still so many unanswered questions like how did Cooper and his daughter survive the nuke drops because they seemed pretty far away from any vaults in the intro. Even if they did make it to a vault, why is it that in present day Cooper is a ghoul and his daughter is no longer with him? Where is his partner and daughter for that matter? There are so many unanswered questions that I'm longing to find out. Honestly, what an incredible show and I've not even got into all the nitty gritty of every character or groups like the Brotherhood. I could honestly do a two hour podcast episode on this show and just go over everything because within just eight episodes, they've really delivered on such a fantastic show with some amazing world building. Like I said earlier as well, it's made me go back and play Fallout 4 because I want to experience more of the wasteland. While we're talking about relationships with the ghoul as well, it's a small little story element, but I like how the dog always ends up paired up with the ghoul again because having Coop Howard slowly warm up to the idea of traveling with a dog makes his character more sympathetic, which in turn makes him more likable because who doesn't like a dog companion with a great character? The ghoul in the Fallout series will probably go down as one of my favorite characters from modern media because they did such a great job with his character and the presence he brings to the screen. I've talked about pretty much everything I could with this character from the musical motifs to the way he's written. He's just a cool cowboy badass and I just wanted to come on here and talk about his character because they did such a fantastic job. It's like Woody from Toy Story if the earth was nuked and Woody had to go through some terrifying end of the world events. Now, nah, but in all seriousness, I love this character and his entire story in season one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If for some reason you watched this video without watching Fallout yet and you basically just had it spoiled for you, then I would still highly recommend going to watch it yourself. Like I said, there was so much I didn't touch on and Cooper Howard is just an amazing character. There's still so many other standout characters in the show that I didn't even talk about. Anyways, I'm going back to play Fallout 4 now. So as always, click on this video if you would like to see more from me. But otherwise, Internet Stranger, I hope you have a great day in the wasteland. Pine tree logging off.